Bug Jam 2020. 2020 <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I'm trying to smile about 2020. <laughs> well, something good has happened. Yes. This has actually been wonderful. Starting to feel normal again. I like it. So what we're going to do today, we have decided to go check out all these bugs. And we're going to do a little bit of a friendly competition here. We're going to pick what we think is the best Volkswagen here. Yeah, we're going to try twice each and you all are the judges. So we want you to let us know in the comments down below which car of the ones that we pick or anything else that you see for that matter is the best car at Bug Jam 2020. And that's saying something, because there's a lot. There's a whole lot. So I've got some ideas of where I'm heading. I'm pretty clueless, so I got some catching up to do. <laughs> Let's get after it. I'm Brent, what's your name? Gilbert. Gilbert, nice to meet you, Gilbert. Nice meeting you too. I love your Gia, it's a 71 Gia. Yeah. It's really nice and it looks like it's well taken care of, but you use it, is that right? Yeah, that's right, yeah. I use it everywhere. Very cool, is it like yeah. a daily driver for you? No, not a daily driver, but I use it in the weekend, like the whole weekend, you know. It drives like a brand new car. Yeah? Yes. Very cool. It looks like you've stayed uh, pretty much stock with it. Do you find that to yeah. make it nice and reliable? And Yeah, it's all original. All original. The part is like 95% original parts. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah, I clean it up, restore the whole car. Wow, uh, you've been a great steward of it. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah, I've had the car like 15 years now, so... 15? Yeah, 15 years, so yeah. I love my car, yeah. That's cool. Do well, you know any of its history before you had it? Uh, I think this car came from California because I got a sticker on the windshield, mm -hmm. inspection ticket, so it's from California. So, And then I bought it here in Florida. So that's nice. the only thing I'm, which I know. Sure, sure, yeah. I guess it's pretty solid. Yeah, it is, it was clean, the car is clean. That would yeah. support the California theory. Yeah, <laughs> no rust, it was clean. The car was clean, complete. So yeah. you just you bought it pretty much like you see it well, here? Well, I restored the whole thing. I did the oh, whole you. thing, yeah. I stripped oh, wow. it down to the metal and painted it and put some couple of new parts, but minimum, uh -huh. you know. What's your favorite thing about driving your 71 Kia? Uh, I love it. It's just like drive like brand new car, you know? Uh -huh. Never have problems, so I like it. It's comfortable for me. and. I, I run fast too, you know. <laughs> the, yeah, it's all good. What you What do you cruise at? Uh, huh? How fast do you cruise, like uh, on the highway? Probably or something? eighty-five miles. You're kidding me. Yeah, that looks like a stock engine back yeah, there. A dual I, port. Yeah, but... I did out of eighty-five and ninety, but I let it go. I don't want to go more <laughs> and get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That is awesome. Well, you know how to take care of and enjoy yeah. your car. That's great uh -huh. to see. Yeah. Thank you. I always take care of it. It's like my baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, very good. Well, thanks for chatting with us about it. We really appreciate it. All right, you're Super welcome. nice car, and good right. luck in the judging. Thank you. We're rooting for you. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks, man. All right, have a good day, guys. You too. All right, my pick that I think is going to be the number one is this notchback. It's a 1964 and it's insane. The paintwork, the bodywork is unbelievable. The wheels, I mean, check out those wheels. Inside, the interior, it's crazy. One thing I like about these things is he, he custom built these seats as well. If, uh, come on in here a second. He took some Carmagia backs here. The bottoms are like a type three. I don't even know what they were. Did something with removing the springs. Just unbelievable. The dash. That's like a new car. Dash has got a metal cap on it, all custom fabricated. This guy builds about a car a year. 
And I tell you what, he's doing an awesome job. Also, 1641, super clean setup in here. I just can't, I can't find something I don't like about the car. This is gonna be the winner. No sé que tú ves en mí, mi amor Ya no dejes de mirarme Que ya me gusta quien soy Contigo me siento en control Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas hermosas So hey man, my name's Brent, what's your name? Hi, Brent, I'm Tom. Tom, Tom nice to meet you, even though we already knew each other's names. <laughs> snip, snip, out. You've got this killer custom bug that has quite the story behind it. Like it went away and it came back and labor and got, of love. And, got sold. and then uh, to a 17 year old boy and kept it for four years and uh, called me up and asked me if I wanted to buy it back. And I said, sure, if it's still in one piece, <laughs> which as you can see, it was. It's cool that that story had a happy ending. Sometimes cars go away and they never come right. back. That's true, that's true. <laughs> um, can you tell us about the build? I'm, I'm assuming this is not stock. Not anything stock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it has a 66 front end, uh -huh. fenders and the covered headlights and everything. Uh, 1915cc motor that uh, uh, Sundance made for me a couple, uh, three or four years ago. Cool. And uh, four wheel disc brakes all the way around, which they did for me as well. Awesome. So that's where we're at with it now. So amazing what uh, a guy in his garage with a welder can do. Indeed, and a sawzall and a torch. <laughs> <laughs> so how far back does this project go? I, I know it was away from you for a while, but yeah, yeah. like, did, when did you do this? Oh, somewhere around 04. So okay. it's been, uh, you know, 16 years or so, 17 maybe. Uh, That's awesome. It's a great story behind the car as, you know, most of them have, right? Yeah, Everybody's got a VW story and every VW has a person story. Absolutely. Oh, it's great to hear yours. And it's great to see you bringing it to the show, right? Sure. It hasn't worn off. I know you, no. you brought it a few times and oh, full yeah, disclosure, I've talked to you before about it. Yep. Just as fun this time. Thanks right. for spending a little bit of time with us uh, and succumbing to this badgering <laughs> to be a part of our video. But thanks for ta talking to us, Tom. We really appreciate it. I'll see you again, I'm sure. Will do. All right, we'll see you then. Thanks. All right, guys, thanks. <laughs>
It's a little bit expensive, but it's really good, nice hey, job. It's better to pay for it and get something nice. I mean, yeah. if you just had a regular crappy powder gold one, I hate to see, keep right. saying crappy, but <laughs> it is what it is. But it is what it is. It yeah, is so, what it but is. You're gonna be repowder coating it anyway, so yeah. you might as well get one done right the first time. Right, no, he sent me like that. So yeah. I, I don't know, we, we, we power recording again, so it's like that. Perfect. He do it, he do that. And you line the, the, the truck bed or the bed? Yeah. That's nice. Do you, yep. Now, do you use it? Do you, do you carry stuff in here? No. <laughs> Just my cooler, but I put something. Go. I put something. I put my cooler, and that's it. I don't put nothing over here. All right. <laughs> let's, let's go check out the engine. So, was that? Is that? Is that it's 16, a 1600. 1600. Okay. 1600. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's a. It's a stock engine. It's really good engine. So. The, the only thing that is different is that I put the electronic point on it. And yeah. Zero zero nine, and that's it. That was but the one. Everything is really not inside the engine. Sixteen hundred. One thing I hate the most is having to adjust the points all the time. So that's yeah. That's that's very. Yeah. Nice. This is this is the most problem in Volkswagens. Yes. The points and the and the other thing, the condenser right now. Yep. It, this is the problem on it. It's been a while but, since I've had a Volkswagen with points, and I don't miss it. No. <laughs> so. That's why I replace it. It's really good right now. No problem. No. Not bad fired, it's really good. Really good. All right. Well, one of my favorites. Hope you win this. Thank you little, very much. We got a little competition going. We didn't tell you. So, hope yours wins. <laughs> Thank hope, you very much. Thank you very see much. See you next year at Bug Jam. Oh, yes, sure. Right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you guys. See ya. So, let me know if you agree with this one. We see stuff like this that, as a potential purchase, is kind of a nightmare. You see it has a ton of missing metal from rust and so on, but it tugs at us a little bit. It tugs at our heartstrings a little bit because we see the potential where we can help it, right? Does anybody get that feeling, right? That you kind of want to do something for one of these things, you, you like them so much, and you see a vehicle in this condition that you're that is appealing to you and you want to help, right? You want to develop that relationship with a car you drag it in to your garage you start learning how to weld you start doing your thing and right before your eyes something like this comes a little bit back to life to where it's functional but maybe still has some of that character that it's built over the years so there's a part of me that kind of wants to go for this or something like this as a contender just for the potential that we see like we see that potential value in the future as we as we go through the next however many years <laughs> and spools of welding wire uh, forming that partnership with a vehicle so i really do like stuff like this even though it's far from nice It's been a pretty good day. I got my couple of picks, which I'm pretty sure are going to win when you guys comment below and pick one of my two picks. So we can win together. Me and you will win this competition. So what do you think? We'll see about that. <laughs> you have some good picks, I'll give you that. Yeah, I like yours as well. We've kind of gone a couple of different directions, so it'll be really interesting to see what you all think about our picks today. So your two were? They were the notch and the single cab, which were really nice. And I didn't really want to have both really nice cars, but it is what it is. You know, we can get the rusty ones next time. Yeah, we don't want to forget them. In fact, most of them are. So <laughs> shout out to all the rusty cars, the hood rides, the whatever you want to call them, the, the patina rides. Yeah, so uh, shout out to those. And you kind of picked a few of them. Yeah which, yeah. Two, which two are you going with? So the two finalists are going to have to be daily drivers. And that's the 71 Ghia that still sees action on the weekends and is getting used and is not totally perfect, but a really pretty car with a cool owner. And then, of course, just for fun and quirkiness, the, the bug truck. Tom's bug is just awesome. 
for the story that it tells about VW owners. Right. Like so, that's the real cool part of all this. I love to see how everybody uses their V-dubs and that's definitely a good example of it. So make sure I'm the winner. <laughs> start commenting below because I never win anything. I'm pretty sure you've won something. I don't know. I did the poker run yesterday and I haven't gotten any calls yeah. for it. It was a good hand. It was yeah. all clubs. All right. Well, go know. check out. I think I deserve a win, but <laughs> go check out Brent's <laughs> channel, Haptic Garage. Link will be below. You're on my channel. so. Yeah, so yeah. thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for voting. Uh, definitely check out Rob's other videos. And if you come by to see me over at Haptic Garage, I'll be glad to see you. See ya.